Welcome back to Star Sector, folks. We are heading over to fight uh, Fa Ying Xiao, I guess his name is. And uh, it's going to be a tough one, I think. Two equilibriums, four uh, Frelias, at least one Replekia, and ten other ships, which I don't know what are. Uh, he is in the system that we're in already, where we already fought two bounties. And... Um, yeah, we are, we're going to head over there. Now, before we do that, uh, we do have just over a million credits. So I think we will, we have a million 175,000. I think we'll upgrade to a Star Fortress here at Odin. There we go. Because at Freya, we're already upgrading to a mega port and that'll take 108 days. So no point in queuing anything up there. And over here, we can't really do anything. Uh, because we, we're out of uh, industry points. And we will be for a whole other colony size. So that'll have to wait. Okay. Let's head up to the first... Cryo-Volcanic World, that's here. And have a look. And let's have a quick save. Okay. Let's see what's here. He is not here. So that means he is over here, or is it a she? I don't know. I have no idea. All right, monthly income, 191,000, not bad. What? Oh, so food station, that's because the Persian League took it over. There it is. Okay. It don't has a, the fleet doesn't have any Cirrus Valus. There are no Cirrus Valus. That's good. Standard drone carrier, heavy standard cruiser. We have some Dread Eagles. Um, Sylvetra, well, not a Sylvestra, but a Sylvetra. Uh, missile carrier, Sylvestra is the other one, and then surprisingly few fighters actually. A deadly overclocked targeting unit, powerful engines, Ricky hard points, that's good. Timid pilots, that's good. Stable shields, that's bad. Rapid shield emitter, blockade runner. Pretty dangerous. Pretty dangerous. Let's see what we can knock it down to. So that's 150 points. Of 150 possible. So I guess that's what's going in, and we'll head up to this nav buoy. Uh, you support me, you support me. Didn't I tell you to support me? I think I did. All right. Here we are. Alrighty. Let's see how this goes because I'm a little bit scared of them. I did not, ah, damn it. I forgot to see how many uh, stars it was. We'll have to see after the battle. Well, I'll have to see in the video, I guess, really. 
What's coming? A uh, silver head. That should go down relatively quick. Let's put our shields up. Is it, are you coming or what? Let's speed up combat a bit. There's something out there. It seems like their main fleet is coming from up here though. Target you. It's overloaded. Silverhead so down. I really hope I get to recover a Frelia, maybe a Equilibrium or a Replekia. I'd like to get you down. Silica class disabled. Right, you're overloaded. Let's fire off some missiles. Ah, they didn't really, but it didn't really hit. But it got went down anyway, which is good. Right, what do we have over here? Here we have the Replekia. Let's put a strike on you. Let's target this silver head, get it done. Good. And that's done. I'm gonna deal with the Replekia here, if I can. Sir's Vala is taking a bit of a pounding. Overloaded, dang it. Ten seconds remaining, that's a long overload, man. Two, one, let's vent. And then we're heading back in. Real class disabled, whatever that is. Alright. The Replekia has taken quite a pounding, which is good. I'm hunting it down. Wanna get rid of it? Very nice. It's going. It's going. It's taking a while though. There it went. Let's vent. Alright, let's see how we're doing and what else is out here. Uh, we have a Aeolia class. Let's put a strike on that. Then we have the Tilia. A Trika. And another Tilia. Okay.
Where is our buoy there? We want to get back to that, really. Kind of use that as a focus point. For where we want to be. That thing is taking a pounding. There it goes. Katora and Eolia down. Let's target you. It's overloaded. And it's down. All right, Dread Eagle's coming in. Should be able to handle Dread Eagles. They are. Shifty though. Another Dread Eagle up there. Let's target the Tilia. Tilia is overloaded. Tilia is down. So we have three Dread Eagles and a Tilia down there. Let's put a strike on the Tilia, get that out of the way. I suppose I'll do a quick vent. Alright, that Dread Eagle is down. Got away. Oh, man. So there's Vala is out of missiles. I can live with that. Man, those things are annoying. Attilia is still around. So close. Just needed a tad more and it would have been overloaded. Alright. We're gonna go now. Right? Overloaded. Excellent. There we go, Dread Eagle down. And Dread Eagle down. All right. Then we just have that Tillier left. And of course, two Equilibriums, four Frelias. There's a Frelia up there. Right, I am going to head up there and take care of that. Actually, no, I'm gonna stay here and I'm gonna get this, uh, this point here.
And then I'm gonna take you out. Alright, let's target you. That Ferlia isn't doing too hot. That Ferlia is down. Nice, let's take out the Tilia as well. Nice. Let's take out you, Sulvetra. What the hell is that? What's that it's doing? Flame out. No matter what it was, it's gonna die. Alright. We have 30 deployment points. Do we wanna deploy anything? I don't think so. I don't think so right now. Uh, let's just speed up time and let's take the nav buoy over here oh there's a frelia over there or is uh, that's just the the dead frelia I'm gonna head over and Take this nav buoy. Oh, here comes something. Some fighters, I guess another Frelia is inbound. Okay. There, Nabu taken. Alright, let's head up. Yeah, Frelia. Let's target you. The Frelias don't seem too uh, terrifying. Second Frelia down. Start working on the third one. the third one down and there's the fourth one the equilibrians haven't shown their faces yet oh, there it comes that there it comes okay 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 F equilibrium Let's put a strike on you. Discernment reports lowered combat readiness. All right, let's overload it, please. So I knew this was going to be a tough fight. 
gonna have to vent. Are you gonna come up here and help or what? Where the hell is our fighter cover? focus a bit on the friendly and try and get that out of the way so that we at least don't have to deal with the fighters there we go Retreating. All right, I guess that's the victory, mm -hmm. but not the bounty because the bounty is there. But they only have two equilibriums and a Katora left, so we did pretty well. We did pretty well. I'm gonna transfer command for this engagement, and I'm gonna move over to the Hydra. And I'm uh, yeah, move over to the Hydra. I'm gonna send you in. We're gonna send you in. We're gonna send you in. And let's send you in as well. Still a seven star battle. That is pretty crazy. You support me. You support that, you support me. Uh, let's head up to the sensor jammer. I think I'm gonna put everything on autofire because I think I forgot to set up the weapons groups on this thing. Yeah, I think I did. Okay. Let's head over to this nav buoy and take it. Oh, here they come. All right. Um, put a strike on it. And now I'm going to target it. Damn close to overloading it. Damn it, it's faster than I'm. Right. Did I put a strike on it? I did. Let's 
taking some damage. I'm not sure if any of it is from me, though. Okay. Right, I guess I'll target you. Equilibrium destroyed, good. And let's put a strike on you. I think the Ceres Valor really deserves a lot of credit for our fleet doing as well as it is. The Ceres Valas, they are the ones uh, making sure that we can keep going without getting overloaded and stuff like that. And there it goes. Claim victory. The day is ours. All right. And we took everything. Consider a ship. Ooh. Two failures. Let's see what structural damage. Uh, okay. We'll take the one with structural damage. Not the one with degraded engines. Not you either because you have degraded engines. Compromised armor. Faulty power grid. It's a replac here. We'll take it. We might sell it. Not you. Not you. All right. Recover those two. That is awesome. A Lokium Plasma Rail Cannon. That seems pretty good. 400 damage a second. I don't think I've seen that before, even though it's Sylphan R&D. Radiant Dawn, we've seen. Charity Assault Blaster, I've seen. Largesse, yes. Clemency. Harpoon, Sailor Rail Repeater. I don't think I've seen that one either. Dignity Pulse Repeater. Not sure. Stricture Disruptor Beam. Disavowal PD. 18 Disavowal PDs. That's not bad. Frail torpedoes, embrace pulsar, vacuity, PD laser, and kindle ESM, Sabo SRMs, and some pretty nice and let's see. Hardened armor reducing damage taken by 90%. One vacuity PD laser six hero S whatever that is. Two times embrace S don't know what that is. One frail torpedo. Okay. Well, we'll take everything. And confirm. And we are definitely, uh, let's see. Uh, e, new. No. I want the battle report. 20% damage sustained, 683% damage inflicted. Mm, fiercely loyal. They're in, different in the Hydra, but they have durable mounts now. So, Mabito. Not a death trap anymore, that's good. Discernment plus dutiful crew. Uh, Can Cobra plus powerful shields. Rook. Plus efficient flux vents. Sinastri got a little bit of reputation. <clears throat> Better known for durable Indians than slow turret gyros. Nice. Not bad. And if we take a look at the combat results. Soloed 4. 
and assisted 11. I saw, actually soloed a uh, Frelia. Very nice. The heavy plasma driver did a lot of damage. The invocation launcher did quite well as well. The hyper velocity driver. Uh, the nobility did quite well too. Broadsword fighters did the most. I'm a little bit surprised about that. Uh, some Vito just helped out a little bit, but that's not really what it's there for. It's not really there for taking down ships. It's there for taking down um, Flux. So, yeah, that's all good. Let's assess. Uh, I don't want the frigate. All right, take everything. We'll do one more. Take everything. We have 731,000 again. And that's even though we just spent a million. I have two character points. I think we'll take this up to max. Minus 25% hull damage taken, minus 25% overload duration seems good. Uh, our fleet. You've got some experience, power grid modulation. And then we got the Frelia here. Let's just take a look. There's a Sedri bomber on board. Structural damage. Drone care. The ship cannot mount crude fighters. Okay. Interesting. Hornet. QET. Hornet. All right. Well, we're, we're definitely heading home right now, right? To... Um, to refit both ships, well, all three ships, two battleships in the uh, Perception here, the Enlightenment class, and the Replekia, and then a battle carrier. So yeah, we just made our fleet just a little bit, just a little bit more powerful, which I love. That is awesome. And I'm looking forward to uh, to refitting all these. But we're going to head home and, and refit. And then we'll see where we go from there. I think probably I'll do the refitting off camera and maybe play a little bit ahead to just to get things moving along a little bit so that we probably build up a new another colony stuff like that we'll see we'll see how it goes but anyway three new capital ships for us. that is fantastic so thank you very much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did why not leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you next time